Hi guys! Welcome to the kitchen in my humble household. So since quarantine started, I've seen this trend on Instagram where people make banana bread, specifically almond flour banana bread. I thought I would just jump on that trend and do that today. So in this video, I'm gonna make almond flour banana bread, which is kind of fitting because I'm gluten-free and I can't have regular flour anyways. So almond flour is a good alternative. Also, you know, gluten-free all-purpose flour doesn't taste great. I'm a little nervous to film this video because I feel like people are gonna judge me for my very terrible and awful cooking skills. I honestly have no talent in the kitchen, so fair warning, my baking skills or whatever I do in the kitchen might make you cringe. And if they do, I am terribly sorry for that. Before we get started in what might be an embarrassing baking video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get cracking. <laughs> no, 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 no. So the first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it's right on 350 degrees. Perfect. This recipe says that it takes five minutes to prep. Yeah, it's not gonna take me five minutes. In a large mixing bowl, add bananas and mash with a masher. I'm pretty sure mixing with a mixer will be so much easier and so much more efficient. My mother has one, but I don't know how to use it. And you know, we have hands for a reason. So we are gonna use these hands to actually hand mix things. I am not familiar with the utensils we have in this kitchen, so I don't know if we have a designated mixing bowl, which is why I'm just gonna use this very large glass bowl we have. That's not good. Well, the oven's done preheating and I haven't even started yet. I don't know what to do. You know what? Okay. Let's carve this gross part out. There we go, good as new. I feel like it'd be much easier to mash if I cut it into like chunks. Again? It's rotting again. This is probably why my mom told me to make the banana bread today. All right, here are three juicy bananas. I missed the stuff. I forgot to prepare the loaf pan. What the heck? Ah, I got it. It doesn't stay. I'll do that later. I don't have a masher, so I'm gonna use a fork. I used to love baking when I was a kid. I think it was like a phase I had in like seventh grade where I would bake something every single week. That was clearly a phase because I don't think I've baked since then. And I just do not enjoy baking that much. I think it's also the fact that I'm not really a foodie and that's why I don't really enjoy baking. Baking is like an actual arm workout in itself. Anyways, back to my story. I used to love baking. I would bake like cookies, brownies, maybe cake. I don't know. Actually, I don't think I've ever baked cake just because I'm not a cake person. I, I don't like it. Actually, seventh grade wasn't actually the last time I baked. I think ninth grade was the last time I baked. I baked this cookie, giant cookie. You know one of those cookie cakes that are like this big? And it's like a, oh, it's called a cookie pizza. I made a cookie pizza. And that time I used to do skating camp in the summer and I brought that to share with my friends at the rink. I was gluten-free then too, so I made it gluten-free and I used gluten-free all-purpose flour. And people said it tasted good, but I don't know if they're just trying to spare my feelings or what, because I personally thought it tasted disgusting. I mean, it was dry, crumbly, and just not chewy at all. And it just wasn't that kind of cookie that would melt in your mouth either. So personally, I thought it was the worst cookie I've ever tasted in my life. And that was definitely the last time I did some baking. So it's been a solid four years since I baked something. The next step is to add eggs. Oh boy, here goes nothing. Hey, there's no shells. Two, three. All right, I need a fourth of a cup of honey. Well, this is gonna take a bit of time. Ah, uh, it's close enough. Oh, look at that. 
I need a fourth of a cup of avocado oil. I don't think we have avocado oil. We are going to improvise and use olive oil. Hopefully it does the same thing. Oh no, a little extra vanilla won't kill anybody. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Baking soda. One teaspoon of baking powder. All right. One teaspoon of salt. Oh. Uh oh, I did not expect it to come out that quickly. Uh. Whisk until we combine, okay. So I just finished this TV show and it's called Beauty and the Baker. It's a drama about this family who owns a bakery. And because the family owns a bakery, they've done some baking on the show. And it kind of inspired me to do this video. Other than the baking, there's also a really cute fictional story behind it where a celebrity meets this ordinary baker and they grow a thing for each other. I actually really like the show. It just came out this year. The pastries they make look really good. And my baking skills are definitely not up to par if you want to watch something that will make you hungry other than watching any TV show on the Food Network. I highly recommend you watch it. I guess it really does take a TV show to get me motivated and inspired to do something I haven't done in a long time, such as baking. All right, the last step is to add the almond flour. I just got some on the counter. You want, okay. Oh, I just stepped in flour, that is lovely. And that is why I am not a cook or a baker because I absolutely have no talent in the kitchen. Mom, if you're watching this, I promise you I will clean the counter after. Eh, okay. I don't think I should be mixing with a fork anymore. We're gonna mix this nice and slow just so I don't spill any on myself because knowing me, I probably would. This might be a success, guys. It's looking good. Here's the finished batter. I need to spray it with cooking spray. Directions, shake well before using. If we have cooking spray, why do we need parchment paper? Whatever. I feel like this parchment paper is preventing it from getting that actual bread shape because it's not really filling the entire pan, if you know what I mean. And we are finished. Let's put this bad boy in the oven now. Ooh, that's steamy. We're gonna cook that for about 50 minutes. Take a peek of the banana bread. Let's see how it's doing. Oh yeah, look at that spicy little thing. Look at this gorgeous thing. We're gonna give a slice to my mom and see what she thinks. She will be the judge of my baking skills. What do you think? It's good. That's all I get. The sweetness is just right. A lot of banana flavor. It doesn't um, taste like gluten-free uh, banana bread. Yes, okay. That is all I need to hear. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I honestly had a good time. It was so fun making this banana bread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me baking some almond flour banana bread and probably embarrassing myself at the same time. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Bye. It's fine you are, take the passenger seat.